We um, picked him up on Sunday morning. Sunday morning? Yeah. Okay. So I've got no idea what age he is. Just waiting at my cabin for orphan number 15. Um, so we had a late call about this orphan. Um, so Simon and Hannah have just gone to go and pick him up um, from town. So we've only had about an hour prior knowledge of him. How was the journey? Very good. Yes. He was sleeping and he refuses to drink milk. You seem pretty calm. Obviously, he's we know he's been him. with humans for a while now. So, um, so he was found behind the pig stall. Mm -hmm. um, the husband nearly stepped on him. Um, she said um, it was in the afternoon, but she also said they found have him since Sunday morning. So, time frame I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, he has uh, this big swollen head. Mm -hmm. And he has not drank any milk. He has only had um, purify. Um, so baby. Baby food. Baby food. Okay, you know what that is. He's obviously excited to see that. Oh, um, and is he in a nappy? He is in a nappy. It is a boy I've checked. Um, he has been in a nappy uh, since they had him. So roughly about what is it? A week. Mm -hmm. Um. He was trying to cling to their dogs and cats, um, but was too weak. Yeah. They thought he would most likely not survive. Um, but yeah, there he is. Boy. Let's so we're just going to give him a little bit of a health check. It's quite dark in the cabin and there's no bandits about, obviously, and he's not crying. So I'm just going to sit outside here. Um, so is it going to be baby nappies that he's in? Yeah. And it's a little boy. And he's got a clean nappy. Hmm. Yeah, that looks okay. So that's the scratch he was talking about. It's not big, just a little one. Then obviously very prominent is the swelling on the head. He has a little bit of a scratch here. And a little bit here. Uh, what else do you have? You're very quiet, young man. It's, You're a bit skinny. It's a little bit concerning, hey? A bit skinny, but hydration seems to be okay. A little scrub here. So were they just putting the pouch in his mouth? Because obviously he knows what it is. He got very excited with it. Not quite sure <clears> how <throat> they fed him. Mm -hmm. I actually did not ask in terms of how did you do the yeah. mechanical thing. We've got a Royal Cannon bottle as well, so maybe we can try on that. Um, but we'll try a couple of different, different Other ways. Than that. With the blanket, and then weigh the blanket after. Um, see how much he weighs. Hi. Hi, okay. little boy. So we are four eight two with the blanket, which means we're not very much, are we? Mm -mm. This is a nice big blanket. You can swap blankies. Look, look at this one. Look at this one. Good boy. Four eight two. Minus so we 98. Are 384. Which is not very big. The morning after the new arrival arrived, he's been scratching quite a lot. He's got some what look to appear maybe bite marks on him. Small. I don't know if it's possibly flea bites or something. We'll have a better look later. And we'll probably give him a little bath at some point to help with his scratching.
He's currently being cared for by primate carer, Frihina. Getting a lovely groom, which is what his mum would do, so it just helps him feel safe and secure. He's currently in Loveland, so he's got a quarantine period of three days before he can go with other monkeys. And obviously, because he's got the swelling on his head as well, I want to keep a good eye on him. He drinks well from yeah. the miracle tea, doesn't he? Yes. That's good. Yay. That's better. He was drinking drop by drop. No, he's good. Yeah. Oh, he knows that oh. there's milk there, doesn't he? Yeah, he still didn't manage from the bottle, but... Oh. Yes, I can give you with that. He says yes, please. Oh. Have some more of that. Do you like it now? Here is baby number 15. He still doesn't have a name. He's drinking from the Miracle Tit with syringe. And now he's very active exploring around the bed. Dean has just woken up from his nap and is going straight to the food plate. So he's got some cucumber, some pear and some papaya. So he doesn't really like papaya but he's been having some of the cucumber and the pear and then this afternoon we're gonna get some bananas in because I think, I think that will be a big yes. Even though Rowan's got a fractured skull with going to the vets and having it x-rayed to confirm, he's doing exceptionally well. Um, he's playing, um, he's climbing and finding his milk okay, which is just really good. Still got the swelling on the right side. And he's even learning the feeding cage as well. Very curious about everything. So he's still in the Loveland area at the moment. We just took the toilet paper away from him because he's uh, very curious about absolutely everything. After playing in the water bowl, Rowan's decided to take a little nap. Still scratching quite a lot as well, so he'll have a little bath soon.
and really enjoys his grooms, especially as he's itchy at the moment. There he is. Decide which blanket to sleep on. Are you hungry? Ron's come down to Disneyland for a little visit. Mm -hmm. I've got Darby there and Rexy. And in Charlotte's mm -hmm. arms we have little Remy, who's still in crate rest after he's up. So Rexy has been in Loveland all this while. So Rexy and Darby, and there's little Rowan. Let's come for a visit to Disneyland. It's been in Neverland all this while um, due to some head trauma. So you can see the back of his head is a bit swollen. So let's just come for a little visit. I'm just going to make sure that they do not play too roughly. <laughs> We definitely do not want him being banged on his head or anything like that. Tab is doing really well after he's um, up on his elbows. And that's the brutal Rexy. You know, moves around way too much. <laughs> So baby 15 is going to the vets for this big lump on his head. So we're going to pop him in here. He's got his favorite blankie. And then we also have a teddy. And then we'll see you at the vets. So baby 15 is now on a pet tag and he is drinking really well. We're hoping to get a feeding cage in here. So you can start on the feeding cage. And then he can take milk whenever he wants but he's doing really well suckling and drinking from that bottle we have to keep it quite straight um, because we don't want to overwhelm his mouth as he is only quite small 
he's doing very, very well. Little Rowan, our newest arrival, we're not really too sure what happened. It does seem like he has a fractured skull and it's caused the swelling on his head, so it's going to take a little bit of time and extra care just to make sure it's going down. Um, we do appeal to everybody out there, not just for little monkeys, but any wildlife that you get. If you see any kind of injury, please try and take it to the vets as soon as possible to get it checked out. Um, I know that it can be expensive, but sometimes you can get this p cost passed on to the rehab center or they might actually accept it because we don't want these little guys suffering like a little Rowan does, especially if people keep them longer than necessary and children are playing with them when they are in this condition. I will follow little Rowan's story. I hope you enjoyed this episode and let's follow on with him later on in the next episode. Thank you.